In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a chef cookbook. Now this is going to be important because if you're going to be working with chef, you're going to have to know how cookbooks work and presumably how to write them. And that's what we're going to do here. So by the end of this demonstration, you'll have a pretty good idea on how to write a simple chef cookbook. Now let me explain to you what you have in front of you and explain my desktop. Now on the bottom here, you see Windows PowerShell. Windows PowerShell is what I'm using for our administrator's console or our administrator's workstation. This is where we're going to perform all of our knife commands. Now up on the right hand side, you see a recipe in which I've pre-written for us. A little more on that in a second. And in the upper left hand side, you see an HTML page, which again, I've also have pre-written for us. Again, my goal is, is to demonstrate how to build cookbooks and how to do this stuff without you watching me code this. Because presumably, you're watching this as a video and you can pause the video and get a better view of the code examples without watching me actually type them. Okay, so let's move on to the first step. The first step in creating a cookbook is to create a cookbook. So, issue the following commands. Knife, cookbook, create, Apache. What I'm saying here is I'm saying build a cookbook. I'm using the knife utility to create a cookbook which we call Apache. And you should see something like this or a basic affirmative message come back to you. Congratulations, you have just written your first chef cookbook. No kidding, you really did. But your cookbook doesn't do anything until you actually give it some functionality. Think of your cookbook as being just some blank container that has all of the resources that a node needs to configure itself, such as files, HTML pages, and any other resource. Basically, a cookbook does nothing until you actually give it some functionality, which leads us to the second step. In this file here, I have defined a recipe. Now, when I built my cookbook, what happened is the following directory structure was built out. Under cookbooks, we have Apache and recipes. I created a file called default.rb. If you want to see that structure, you could go back to the administrator's workstation and type in ls cookbooks apache. Now these are the files or slash directory structure that was created for us. Let me get back to the command line and get back to my recipe. So, here's my recipe. And again, I just copied and pasted this recipe in rather than you watching me type it line for line. So let's go over what's in this recipe. I have in here three resources. I have a package resource. The package resource says, Get the package HTTPD, which is Apache Tomcat, and install it if it's not already installed. The second resource is a service resource. This resource says get the package HTTPD, make sure it is enabled, and started. The third resource is a template resource. This resource specifies a template which is our welcome page for our Apache server which is this node here and the source is index.html.erb ERB stands for embedded Ruby and we have the file permissions here. If you look on the upper left hand side here is the HTML page which I just created now again, rather than you watching me type this in, character by character, 
I had it prepared for us. So that way you just get to see the code without having to watch me type the code. And this HTML.erb file belongs in Cookbooks, Apache, Templates, Default. Okay, the next step is to actually deploy this cookbook. So, from my administrator's workstation, I am going to issue knife cookbook upload Apache. Knife cookbook upload Apache. And then hit enter. And we will give it a second. It shouldn't take too long. What just happened is I used the knife utility to upload this cookbook to Chef Server. Now Chef Server has this cookbook. Now cookbooks are not associated with a specific node. Cookbooks are just cookbooks. They can be associated with many different nodes. So there's really no way that we can test the functionality for this cookbook until we actually assign it to a run list for a node, which we have not done here. But it looks like we went through the successful steps in creating a cookbook and uploading a cookbook to Chef Server. So, this concludes my demo. Thank you so much for watching.